But why is it that Nigeria cannot benefit from Nigeria's helping other countries? So in terms of quality, their quality is much, much inferior to the imported quality. The demarketing of a company by a regulator that he's supposed to protect is very, very unfortunate. Let's set the record straight. That would give us NNPC and the regulators. Today, we are exposing the truth behind this clash. I am a very, very fearless person. I believe so much in God and I don't fear anybody. Uh, you know, they can do whatever that they want, you know, and I am not scared. I will fight head on. But why would he need to say so? This is it. You can be 99% correct in your business calculation. Fine, no problem. But the very moment you're 1% wrong politically, the financial empire you built through political connection and manipulation could face serious threats. So if anyone wants to come and invest uh, in, in, in Nigeria in any, in any sector, we are here to support. But we cannot allow anyone to t take advantage of, uh, of, of, of the consumer. There's an intricate battle happening and Dambutis wells are just the tip of the icebox in unraveling the secret behind this battle. You know, uh, we know where they blend this in. Some of the terminals, some of the NNPC people and uh, some, you know, traders have opened a, a blending plant somewhere off uh, Malta. We all know these areas. We know what they are doing. It's not that we don't know. All the test certificates that people are busy, you know, floating around. Where are the labs? Even if they have the labs, I can tell you they are fake certificates. You know, so if you are saying that, yes, how can Dongote alone supply the market? Okay, are you saying that the four billion that NNPC spent now on the activation of their own refinery, uh, refineries, Kaduna, Wari, and Patakot. Is that money down the drain? Are the refineries not going to work? They have announced a date. So if they are there, we cannot be a monopoly because we are not the only ones. Actually, they are more powerful than us. Dangote is dealing with serious accusation. Issue on fake testing certificates, the mafia in the oil industry that are trying to deny his refinery the necessary crude in need to put his refinery in full operation. But what is really going on here? Whose interests are being protected? The common Nigerian or the local oil excavators or foreign interests? It is not very clear who is on the side of the people. You see, when two criminals are fighting, it often creates chaos and uncertainty, making it difficult to know who is truly on the side of the public. The fact is, it is now in the interest of Nigerian youth to understand why these two parties are fighting and exchanging wealth. Nigeria needs to determine who is truly on the side of the people because it is easy to get caught up in the fight or in the conflict without realizing probably you might be manipulated. For a long time, Dangote remained silent and this is the first time the almighty Dangote is facing this kind of issue in Nigeria. Could this be that previous administrations such as the Obasanjo administration, the Buhari administration or probably even the previous administration, that Jonathan administration, favors Dangote interests? In the light of this accusation, the same jet fuel and diesel that have been said is of uh, low quality is being exported to America, to Europe and other African countries. If Dangote product is substandard, not quality enough, I believe these foreign countries and other African countries will not buy its products. But why is it that Nigeria cannot benefit from Nigeria's helping other countries? For instance, Mali in Nigeria supplies our energy solution to other African countries. It also sells to other countries but lack patronage in Nigeria. Why don't we support our own? We didn't support geometric not on situation by the Abia government. Now Dangote is facing the same concern. Dangote is requesting that we should suspend or stop all importation of petroleum products, especially AGO and JetCaro, and direct all marketers to, to the refinery. That is not good for the nation in terms of energy security, and that is not good for markets because of uh, monopoly. If truly we want to combat monopoly, we should put our own refineries in order and mandate petroleum importers to build their own refinery here in Nigeria and stop the shadow fighting. 
But all this one, somebody will bring in a sheep and say that, yes, this is the quality. Bring in fake certificate. This one, when we go ahead, we will say more. We will say more in the sense that, uh, you know, uh, we know where they blend this in. Some of the terminals, some of the NMPC people and uh, some, you know, traders have opened uh, a blending plant somewhere of uh, Malta. We all know these areas. We know what they are doing. Dangote accused some NNPC officials of having blinded plant in Malta. Of course, every Nigeria believed that their food was being refined in South Korea, India, or Singapore. But the Dangote revolution has now shown that it's now being refined in Malta. And with some of these refineries being owned by some NNPC staffs and IOC. One of our main resources is oil. We're the largest oil refinery in the world. So we buy oil from Nigeria and we refine them and we sell it back to Nigeria. The consequence of this is very significant. To not just refine its crude, it will destroy their businesses and profits. This is proven that Nigeria's problems lies a little bit. They are the ones forcing Nigerians to buy expensive petroleum, which is one of the causes of the inflation in the country. But the current fight does it mean that the federal government led by the administration of Amebala Tunubu is trying to change the narrative or the situation. Please let me know your opinion on this. Another possible intricacy to consider is this. Why is down with him not buying his crude in Nigeria? Imagine having a place where you can purchase your raw material at probably let's say one dollar per unit. When the cost of freight and it costs you about $2.5 per unit. When you convert this to your to our local currency, probably it costs you about 5,000 naira. Whereas within Nigeria, this will cost you about 7,000 naira or 65. Please, where would you like to buy your material from? But why is this so? Corruption is the big problem here. Some high influential person who wants to make dangerous wealth by inflating the street stock price necessary for production. Manufacturers across Nigeria face these similar challenges, not just in the oil industry. This is one of the truth that would take. We don't want to come out public to say to the Nigerian people. Well, the NMAC MD Madam Kiari has debunked the acquisition about the motor blending plant. But let's put this into perspective. 2023, Nigeria import petroleum worth about 2.08 billion, a massive increase from 47.5 million in 2013. Note this, please. For six years, that is, from 2017 to 2022, petroleum import from mortars were zero. I mean zero. But in 2023 alone, this shoot up to about 2.08 billion. If the case is the case of fighting monopoly, I guess that would should consider the following example set by Bill Gates. When he faced similar opposition that threatened its survival, Bill Gates diverted from Microsoft and retained just only 5% of his stake and focused on other ventures. Google also took similar steps to navigate regulatory and competitive challenge. You see, sometimes you can be 99% correct in your business calculation, but the very moment you're 1% wrong politically, the financial empire you built through political connection and manipulation could face serious threats. This is related with the case of MQ Abdullah and Dao founders. One wrong political move ruined their empire. To this very day, no one knew the full story of what went wrong between Enko Abela and IBM. What does this mean for our economy and our people? From the various products derived from coal oil, petroleum is just one of them. But there are other products to benefit from. When we export crude oil and import petroleum, we are only just buying back petrol, neglecting the other product. If we refine our crude oil here in Nigeria through the Dangote refinery or the Dangote facilities, we would obtain fertilizer, kerosene, uh, jet fuel, other valuable byproducts we could use, which we could use to power our manufacturing sector. We need to address this systemic issue for the sake of our future. The allegations are ridiculous. It is now in the public interest to learn about this issue and be well informed. This will spike in import if we continue we drain our economy and affect everyone.
Thanks for watching. Please, if you find this video insightful, please do me a favor by clicking on the like button. And also, I would like to know your opinion on this case of that what is going on. Are these people actually fighting for the interests of the common men of Nigeria or the cabas in the oil industry? Please, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please you can click on the subscribe button to keep receiving impactful content from us.